Okay, so uh, today um, we're going to set up a template um, with layer properties, and then I'll show how um, those layer properties actually work. Um, one of the handy things about setting up a template like this is that if you set up your startup option, so typically when you install AutoCAD and you type startup, typically this is on a 3, which when you hit new, brings up this folder like this, which is nice and everything, but if you go startup, on one word, hit enter, and then type 1 and hit enter, and you hit new, you're going to get an option like this. And that option also presents use a template, which would allow you to browse to the thing we're about to create, um, and then bring your layer properties straight in and save the drawing as whatever you like. So in order to set up layer properties, what we're going to do is, as you may imagine, we're going to go up to layer properties and select it. That's going to bring up this box here. I'm going to expand it just so we can see everything really, really well. Um, you don't have to expand it like this, um, obviously, but I'm going to just to show you the different options we're going to set up. So by default, um, AutoCAD creates a layer um, in every single drawing titled layer zero. Okay, um, and depending on where you work or um, the standards of where you work, maybe layer zero is your object line layer, but we're going to create a separate layer. Um, just a couple just to show you how to do it, and then if you need to create more layers, you can always do that. Now, there's a couple options up here. There's some icons up here for creating a new layer, um, deleting layers, etc. You could also right click and hit new layer. And then, so our first layer will create. We'll call this our construction lines. And construction lines are like our guidelines. Now, if you wanted to, we could go in, we could change the line weight. Construction lines typically have a very small line, late, line weight. Um, we can also double click this. We can change the color. We'll keep our construction lines white for now. And then our line type, we just want a continuous line. So that's okay. Then our next line we'll create, we'll right click, hit new layer, and we'll, for this one, type object. I'm going to change my color to something else. Let's I'll just go with the standard palette here. We'll go dark blue, and we'll hit OK, and that's going to be a continuous one. And then, of course, you would add, typically, um, a thicker line weight to the object line um, layer as well. Now we're going to go to new layer and we're going to put a hidden line in. And I don't know, for hidden lines, let's go with a slightly lighter blue. We'll hit OK. Hidden lines would be thinner. But the big one I want to show you is how to change your line type. So we'll double click on continuous and we'll hit load. And that's going to bring up all of the different line types that are available. Now you'll notice as you scroll down there's a couple different hidden um, and this really would depend on the scale that you want. I'm just going to pick the traditional hidden. But you can see this one is a half scale. This one's a two times scale so it's twice as big. That one's half as big. So we're just going to hit OK and then we're going to pick it and then we're going to hit OK. You can see that puts the hidden layer in. And we'll right click one more time and we'll put center lines in and we'll change our center lines to, I don't know, let's make them green. And then we'll hit OK. And then we'll double click on here. We'll load. We'll find our center. I'm going to go with the traditional center right here. Hit OK. Pick it. And then hit OK again. And what else do we want? Let's say maybe we want a phantom layer. So my phantom layer, I'm going to change the color again, just so I can differentiate them. And then I'm going to load a phantom line down here. Let's go with the regular one. And I could use my phantom line for a cutting plane as well, or I could create a cutting plane layer. I'm just going to create these five layers for now. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of this. And then up here, under my pull down, I can switch between any of these now. All right, so for example, if I wanted to start my first view right down here at the zero, I could go construction line, and 
and then for my construction line, I can pick a go under draw here and then pick an infinite line. And I don't know, maybe I want to start at zero, comma, zero. And maybe I want it to be a horizontal line. So I'll put on orthographic and go that way. All right. And then I'll create another one at zero, comma, zero. And then I'll go up and click. So now I've got like my starting point. So let's say I was creating a box that was, I don't know, say one by one. So I could go O for offset, hit enter. I could type the number one, hit enter. I could select my object, offset it over, select my other construction line object and offset it over. Now here's my square, right? Um, so my next step of finishing this view, so let's say we're just making a cube. I could go to object layer. Now I'm going to just create a line and with my object snap turned on, I'm going to make sure that certain things are on endpoint, center, intersection, that sort of thing. I could go click, 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 click. So there's my square. Now let's say there's a hole in the middle, just so that we have a reason for some other views. Let's say the hole was right in the center here. So again, I could go offset. I don't have to change my layer necessarily, but <clears throat> sorry about the bell. Could offset 0.5. Click. Click. Offset those to the center. Switch back to my object line, and now I can put my circle in because my construction lines have found where the center of the circle is. So I can click. And I could say, I don't know, maybe this is a 0.25 radius circle. Okay. So now what I need to do is let's say I'm creating my right view. All right. So I'm going to go back to construction. I'm going to go O, enter. And I'm going to say, I don't know, maybe I want maybe one inch in between the views. I'm going to offset this over. And then... Say this is a cube, like I said, I'm going to offset that over one inch. Now I'm going to create a couple other construction lines because I also need to project over this hole. Let's say the hole goes all the way through. So I'm going to go infinite. Notice I haven't deleted any of my construction lines, by the way. I'm going to go infinite construction line. I'm going to go right to that intersection and I'm going to put a line there and then I'm going to put a horizontal line there. Now I'm going to switch to my object line and I'm going to draw the outline of my view. Okay, then I could go to my hidden line and I could draw my hidden line across where it shows up to show the hole goes through. And then I also need to put some center lines in here as well. I wouldn't necessarily put a center line in here because I'm not going to dimension to hidden lines. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset some lines slightly outside of my circle. So I have a little overlap. Okay. So maybe that offset, I don't know, it's like 0.1. That's probably good. So I'll offset that one out, I'll offset that one out. And then since it was 0.1, I'll go offset. And this was 0.25, so I'll go 0.35 to give it one more. 0.1 out, go 0.35 out here, out here. All right, now here's why I did that. And usually center lines, I'll erase the um, construction after, but now I can go line. And I can go from here down to here, and I can go from here over to here. All right. Now, if I go back up here and I turn off my construction lines, there's my view. Now, because I drew a very small part, maybe um, my center lines aren't showing up. You can see it looks like a solid line. So all I need to do is go LT scale, line type scale, hit enter. And maybe, I don't know, right now it's 1. Maybe I want it to be 0.5. 
and that's going to shrink it down. This one still doesn't change, so let's go to 0.25. There we go. Now I can see it. Okay, um, and there's nothing wrong with that if I'm making a small part like this. All right, now let me show you um, how we would project our um, our view up here. We don't actually need that view, but I'm going to do it either way. So we'll turn on my construction line. And now I'm going to go back into offsetting. Maybe I want the view one inch away like the other one. Offset that up. I'll offset this up. I could offset that up for the depth, or actually I'll show you a different option as well. Um, so yeah, you know what I'll actually do? I'll put another hole halfway across and we'll project those over. Okay, so let's put another circle right in here. Maybe this one's going to be, oops, didn't change my line type. Change it after. Uh, circle right here. Maybe this one is, I don't know, a quarter inch in diameter, so one eighth in radius. So now I can go back in. I'm going to offset my one. Okay, and then what I'm going to do with my object line is I'm going to draw it's called a miter line right across here. And I got to turn my ortho off. I'm going to draw an object line right across here. All right, and what this is going to allow me to do is project this over to this view up here. Okay, so first let me draw the outside of my view. That part's pretty easy. Okay, now. Let me create some construction lines to project some things. So I've got a construction line that goes up here. I'm going to turn my ortho on again, make it go vertical. Space bar is all I'm hitting to do it again. Okay. And now I'm also going to do that over here. I'm going to click this. I'm going to go straight up. Because that allows me then to project, let's say this goes all the way through. So let's put one, let's project it over to our front view. You can see this gets confusing a little bit after a while. Whoop. Especially when you click where you don't want to. Get rid of that. Back up here, here, across to there. All right, so now I can project my hidden lines over real quick. Line. Let's say this little hole goes all the way through. This comes through here. This comes through right here. And then I'll have to do some trimming after as well. So let me turn off my construction lines. Obviously these would go away in here because that, that's a little bit bigger. So I'll go trim. I'll get rid of the stuff inside there. Okay, and then here's how we're going to project that other stuff up. Okay, oops, Turned the wrong one off. All right, so now we have our construction lines coming up this way. I obviously can project this one up, so let's go ahead and line. This is the construction line here. And here. Okay. And then here's how I'm going to project my other lines over. I'm going to go back to construction. I'm going to create some more infinite lines. But this miter line allows me to click at the intersection and put lines right across like that. Okay. So now I can switch back to my hidden lines and I can draw them where they would go. Now I could draw them all the way across and trim like I did before, or I could just go like this, because it's going to go away once it hits that other hidden line. Okay. So now, let me turn my construction lines off. And you can see my miter line has pr provided <coughs> a nice... Um, projection across here. I'm not going to put any center lines in because those are hidden lines. I do need one down here though. So why don't I go ahead and put that in real quick. Turn my construction lines back on. 
do my thing I did before, offset point 0.1, offset that over, offset that over, that up, that down, and then I'm going to go to my center line, draw a line, and that line's going to go across here. Hopefully it shows up, we'll find out shortly. All right, and then before I finish my drawing, I can whoop, wrong one. Turn off my construction layers, and you can see my line type scale didn't show there, so let's go a little bit smaller. There we go. Point two worked. Okay, um, and that's just a basic, basic um, drawing. And then let's say you did want to change a line. Say you accidentally made a line on the wrong layer. So let's say this was like a phantom line. For example, there's a couple ways you can do it. You could type in properties and change the properties by selecting the object. Here's how I do it, it's a little bit easier. Just select it when you're not in a uh, command and then go and pick center line. It's a simple way to do it. Um, or let's say I want my miter line not to show up. Maybe I want it to be a construction line. Just select it, go to construction, and now it's gone, okay? And if I want to check it later, I can turn it back on with this. All right. But I don't have to delete them because, you know, they're there. I may need to use them later. Um, but I can just turn the layer off and it's not going to print out. Okay.